So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we have a double victory here. You see, Aquarius? Six of ones, six of ones. Believe and succeed. So that is something that you really need to trust because it will happen, right? If you believe, you succeed. So let's see what this is all about. It's six of wands, a little bit of pride. Maybe the situation, you know, in the situation, somebody is quite full. No, it's about victory in love, actually. We do have the Ace of Cups. This is an offer of love. Somebody is in love with you. You are in love with some. Oh my God, you have twice. Oh, isn't it beautiful? You have one after another. That was some uh, sorrow in this connection. Five of Cups, right? This is the I miss you, I miss you, I miss you energy. Five of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Hangman, somebody is observing you. You are observing somebody. Keep an eye on somebody keeping tabs, by the way. <laughs> and we do have the Six of Wands. Somebody is staying close to you and observing you and making sure you're all right. And the Seven of Swords secretly observing you, right? Somebody wants, somebody seeking some form of truth about you. We do have seek the truth. But it's Seven of Swords in hiding in, in the shadows. They are observing you. It happens. Or maybe you do that. Maybe in the shadows you uh, observe somebody. You keep an eye on them. We'll see. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. We do have Nine of Pentacles and together it's a Ten of Pentacles. So I do love the stability in it. A sense of family. This is about family and kids. This is about legacy, stability. And of course we have an offer. Strengthening bonds and well-deserved rewards. I love this. Aquarius, I don't know who you're dealing with, but I definitely love the energy they are coming with at the table. So let's see. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for the end of April on your side, the person you are dealing with. And we do have, again, the energy of triumph and moving forward. We do have the chariot, cancer energy. So you might be dealing with a cancer. And we do have the hierophant commitment. I love the energy. Commitment, stability, traditional, long-term. So in the past, uh, Aquarius, you might have dealt with the Pisces. We do have the moon. And we do have the two of cups. This is the energy of you. Uh, it's a Pisces and cancer. It can be a water sign, right? Um, this is the energy of I am giving you my heart because we do have the, you know, some, the, uh, um, the young boy handing, um, his heart, right? And saying, you know what, this is all that I have and I'm giving it to you. It's also the energy of coming together. This is the energy of soulmates. This is the energy of, I know you are the one, uh, feeling the body, the mind and the soul connection, right? It comes, um, it comes with this, right? The awareness of. I'm going to play a little bit with, uh, with the light because you are not seeing the cards properly and I want to make sure you see them. Um, and of course it is, um, it comes with the energy of the moon, right? Um, so it's um, kind of a scary love, right? Well, overwhelming emotions. That was something that you need to confront. Or maybe you did, or there was something, you know, that you need to um, kind of look at, look at yourself in the mirror, right, about this. And um, it's like realization and awakenings, right? It's like, let me see a little bit what's going on. Of course, because it's the energy of shadows, um, Aquarius, this is kind of a, I don't want to say shady. I don't feel this is shady. Two of Cups has nothing to do with shady, but something that was hidden, right? That's the moon in the night when nobody's watching. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, can be forbidden love, why not? We're going to see if we go towards the forbidden love. Now, the person you are dealing with, uh, we have them uh, running wild and free with, it, with the, uh, the chariot. Of course, for some of you, this is cancer energy. And they actually, they might have moved away because we do have the energy of three of wands, like looking, uh, waiting for the ships to come home in some way. 
but then it's the energy of escaping and running free of running wild the energy of breaking free so they might have <clears throat> kind of um, danced between okay i'm gonna stay and see what's going on and the energy of breaking free you know this is going this is leading nowhere so let me um find the way out that um you know the can the, the chariot energy um but then it's the energy of success and moving forward and then it's uh, paired with the energy of uh waiting and giving it a chance so I believe they were a little bit, I don't want to say confused, it's not the energy of confusion, it's the energy of options. Um, and then there was an over, kind of, maybe a divorce happening here, Aquarius. We do have the justice, Libra energy, and we do have the death, um, Scorpio energy. So probably for some of you, you divorce this person, and it's a strong energy of water sign. We have Cancer twice, we have the moon, right? And now we have the Scorpio energy, which is again a water sign. Um, so might have might have been actually a water sign and it um, you know there was a lot of love on your side but it's a sense of um, running wild on their side and and wanting to be free and uh, chasing um, you know um, fairies kind of energy and then there was probably a very abrupt ending um, with the death card and the justice speaks of legalities and divorces and pieces of paper and administrative um, kind of outcome of this and probably this is exactly what happened and I kind of understand now why the the moon on your side right it's about confusion overwhelming emotions deep emotions dark emotions it's about um, anxiety and depression so it was a tough time you know as much as you love this person it came with a lot of shadows right this energy came with a lot of shadows um, unsettling on their side but in the same time when um, when it was time you know to decide about what's going on it, it this is a very ugly energy the justice and the death honestly it's quite a tormenting kind of ending um together but can be a very um abrupt separation followed by a divorce both energies very abrupt very decisive um energy so you know that was that if you identify with that and now we have you Aquarius in love is blind. Let me tell you, <laughs> we do have refusing to see and we do have the lovers. This is Gemini energy, but I'm more sensing that we are blindfolded and we love this person. Uh, this is again the soulmate bond. This is being, um, you know, kind of um, attached to this person blindly, right? This is um, fearlessly and blindly, I would say. Blindly in love over here. Two of Swords is the energy of contemplation and decisions, and uh, maybe a decision is on your mind. Uh, the Lovers is also about decisions, right? It's about head over heart or heart over head. Now, because it's paired with the Two of Swords, I believe we are about to make a very rational decision, like an Aquarius can, only an Aquarius can do, right? Something that is really um, kind of uh, well thought and cold, you know? And reminds me of, of, of an energy, you know, when I speak with my mind, I might seem cold. And when I speak with my heart, I might seem thoughtless, you know, that's energy of, of you know, the, in, in, um, the energy of having um, Aquarius and, and um, other energies in your birth chart. But anyways, I'm um, just saying because we have you here contemplating a decision contemplating a decision and again it's that split energy of I'm gonna think with my head that's the two of swords I'm gonna think it through and then we have the lover saying well but we do have a heart so what exactly are we supposed to decide here now Aquarius this person of yours um they show up here with um the hermit energy this is Virgo energy you might be dealing with a Virgo but somebody here is seeking balance. We do have seek and find balance. So kind of looking and um, asking and wondering and um, going within. And two of pentacles is the energy of balance, is the energy of I have to show the world that I'm still in control, <clears throat> you know. But it's a beautiful energy, the hermit. It's like, you know, being in their corner because they have a lot of thinking to do. You know, uh, it's the energy of strategy, it's the energy of um, shining a light on a situation, it's the energy of wisdom. 
It is the energy of I've learned my lesson. I'm not happy with the outcome of it because Two of Pentacles is the energy of struggling and juggling, right? So whatever came out of the thinking process, we are not very proud. It's like, okay, but let me um, conceal, right? This with the Two of Pentacles. Let me, uh, you know, send out into the world a, an image of but I'm in control. Maybe I'm not the most uh, social person today. I don't feel like smiling. Maybe today I'm not at my best, but you know, I'm doing what I have to do. Two of Pentacles is also the energy of working, taking multiple responsibilities, keeping all the balls up in the air, right? So this is the energy they kind of come to the table with. I don't know, but somebody's afraid of authorities. Are you kidding me? We don't have the Emperor and we, and it's interesting, we have the Justice, we have the Emperor and the Nine of Swords. So the Death, the Justice, the Emperor and the Nine of Swords. I don't know exactly what type of ending and who was involved in what kind of... I don't know if you kind of called 911 on them, right? Then somebody went in a police car, you know, can, can very well be. Because right now, the energy between the two of you, we have the energy of authority and institutions, organizations with the Emperor, right? The energy of um like uh, very powerful um kind of energies and we are scared like a baby with the nine of swords so it's like i don't know exactly what's going on here um but i i love the energy i love your energy i love their energy aquarius but right in the middle of the reading right at the core of the reading uh, we have energy saying whatever you are afraid of is in your head that's a nine of swords and we have the energy of lead. Again, together, both of you might be scared of whatever this will lead. Um, but it, it feels like authority. I mean, the emperor and the justice. Wow, it's like sentences and court appearances and that kind of energy, you know? Um, and yet the overall energy is one of strengthening bonds, right? And well-deserved reward. And we have the energies of moving forward bringing a connection to the next level so might be about that you know maybe the awakening for this person was one of um you know actually i want my aquarius and on your side it's like you know my mind tells me that i need to see the truth that i'm refusing to see and yet the heart is the heart is saying well but i really do love um this person so that is that and then that is um the Emperor energy can be an Aries, by the way, right? It can be an Aries between you and this person. Anything is possible. But I'm more sensing, um, you know, kind of, I have to take control over my fears. Um, and maybe both of you, you need to take control over your fears. If you are afraid of something or that is something to be afraid of. Now, moving forward, we love this Aquarius because we have endings and new beginnings. We have happy endings and new beginnings. We do have the world um, and we do have the full. We have embrace and we have trust. So we need to embrace and trust this person. We need to embrace this new beginning and we need to end the cycle and start a new one with trust. I love the full. Honestly, I love the full. And I know, you know, sometimes... Um, he feels so carefree and um you know sometimes we say well it's a careless energy it's a reckless impulsive it's like leaving everything behind and starting with nothing but it has so much power you know when we can let go of things and just start new with nothing it has so much power and it's so empowering and it takes so much courage actually and um and I'm sensing on your side, Aquarius, that's exactly what's going on, right? We do have the energy of the fool from scratch with nothing and with happy endings. Thank God it's over. That's exactly the energy we are feeling here. And then the, the uh, courageous energy of the fool, you know, like I was saying, seem, uh, seem to be childish kind of energy. But if you really listen and if you really dig deep, I mean, right, it takes a lot of courage, actually, to be the fool in a situation. Now, Aquarius, this person, it's interesting, they are very loyal to themselves. We do have them in fine balance, two of pentacles, and we have them afraid, nine of swords. 
and it's the energy right now that is they they are afraid of something maybe they are afraid to lose control over that is actually the fear of losing control by excellence this energy is the fear of losing control uh, with the emperor nine of swords and now it's the fear of losing balance right it's like what if this will bring me into such a situation nine of swords being afraid maybe of their job of their um, career two of pentacles is related to money but i'm more sensing this is about balance it's like what if i lose control because now they are looking for a form of control a form of balance right i i, I want to be at ease right i want to be I want to have everything in place. That's a two of pentacles. I'm, I, I want to be able to handle um, my life properly or from a place of balance, you know, from a place of power. And they are seeking now. That's the energy of seek, right? They are seeking, longing, working towards. And now towards the end of April, it's like, well, well what if I lose my balance? What brings me balance? Mutual energy is coming your way. We do have the high priestess, a lot of intuition, a world of intuition. Again, this energy of listening and observing and um, in action as the best course of action. And yet we have two of wands, both of you at crossroads and watching each other. That's exactly the energy with the high priestess. And the energy of listening. Maybe you listen on, on what they have to say. Maybe you go through their social media and you make sure you keep an eye on them. What they are doing and they may be doing the same. But that is this energy of spreading your wings. Something is coming. That's the spread your wings. Something is coming. Um, the hypothesis is the energy of knowing. We know something is coming. We know that is a decision coming. Right? Being in the know and very intuitive about. Now, Aquarius, in terms of zodiac signs, baby, what is what do we have? We have Cancer twice. We have Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Virgo. We do have Pisces, Cancer, and that's about it. So let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do about this person. And I see a lot of love on your side and I see a lot of um, a lot of quest for balance on their side, but I'm not seeing a lot of love, baby. I'm just saying that is an offer of strengthening bonds, but I'm not seeing love just yet. So some food for thought, Aquarius. Some food for thought. We do have engagement. That's crazy. The chariot is... Um, taking the connection to the next level. We do have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So somebody wants more. This is the guidance. This is what's coming your way. We do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You have engagement and honeymoon. Somebody is getting married here. Well, I hope I'm invited. I love weddings. And I dance all night. And I, I don't eat a bite. I just dance the whole night. Just saying. And we have true love, Aquarius. We do have engagement. We have honeymoon. And we have true love. So baby, this is true love. And guess what? We have... I have one card that just flipped away. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we do have reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. Uh, this is kind of annoying because uh, we don't we, we don't have in their energies, um, you know, loving energies. We have them struggling for balance and afraid to lose control. But then, you know, the guidance is a beautiful one. It's a true love. And this could be the one. And honeymoon and engagement and the charity. So um, I'll have to um, I'll have to tell you my address. So you send me the invitation. I, like I was saying, I adore weddings. So, Anyways, I have this. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. I love it because the, um, the guidance is please do nothing. You've done enough. 
um, Aquarius. Just stay and listen, right? The High Priestess, just stay, just stay uh, put and listen. We do have surrender your need to always be right. Uh-oh, you are in trouble. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. Your relationships, actually. So we need to learn how to communicate. And we better not fight, Aquarius. We better not fight and find a way. We do have surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best of decisions. And you do have on the bottom of the deck surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar into your life. We have surrender to success. Uh, oh, sorry, surrender stress. Where is success? It's surrender stress. And I say that because we have nine of swords twice. So that is a lot of stress in this connection, actually. And I tend to believe this person of yours is actually, they are very stressed. Nine of swords is like they can, they lost, they've lost sleep over this. We have five of cups, the missing card. And you know what, Aquarius, I do believe you are dealing with the cancer. Guess what? We have the cancer again. We got three decks and in all three decks you do have the cancer energy, um, right? The chariot. So five of cups, this is my I miss you. I, almo I, I almost died missing you. That's my five of cups. So forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move um, through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path of joy. And we do have be open to success. That, um... So look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. Beautiful. So this person is coming back. They want engagement. They'll take you on a honeymoon. I don't know with the pandemic times and the traveling and stuff, but we can have the honeymoon under like in a small, right? Uh, like in one room kind of. We do have reconciliation and what else? True love. So you are in trouble. This is sweet trouble actually, Aquarius. And they are so stressed out. I'm just saying, you know, um, so they will come to you with it, like, you know, pack of nerves, you know, with it, like, you know, anyways, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, Aquarius, you know, I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.